All right, guys. Welcome, welcome. Good evening. Tonight is Monday, April the 20th, 2015. Um, it's now 8.05, guys, which means it's the start of another edition of Money Mondays. I'm, um, of course, presented to you guys by Millionaire Manners Academy. I'm super excited that you guys are able to join us tonight. Um, this is the call that's really one of its kind. It's dedicated just for young people to go over certain topics, um, certain conversations, et cetera, that are going to do nothing except make you better and help you stand apart from all the other people that you deal with on a day-to-day basis. Um, because we send these invites out many, many times, and uh, there's only winners on this call. Um, that's what I'm super excited about. There's only winners on these calls. So with that being said, let's get into it. Tonight's topic, guys, right, is the power of positive self-talk, and this is part one. So just like we did with the confidence um, call, this is also going to be a two-part call, right? So confidence was actually a three-part call. So we, we covered the topic of confidence building over the course of three weeks, um, but tonight is going to be part one of part two. So the power of positive self-talk is going to be a two-part conversation. Um, if you guys don't know me, again, I'm Sadiq Ali. Of course, I'm a speaker, I'm a trainer, and I'm the founder of Millionaire Manners Academy. And if I haven't said this to you personally already, I believe in you. And, um, and, again, you guys are special, very, very special. And, again, there's only winners on these calls. So, of course, if this is your first call, I welcome you guys sincerely. I'm really excited to chat with you. And, of course, if this is your, you know, second, third, or fourth call, and like I said, there's some folks who have been on since call number one. And this is call number nine, so I welcome you guys back. Um, just like, uh, like I said, this is a two-part call. Um, so I'm going to cover the intro pretty quickly just so we can get into the meat of the call um, because it's a lot of good information, okay? Um, so, again, have your pen and paper ready so you can take some really, really good notes. And um, like I said, we'll post tonight's call um, as well as last week's call um, on the website by, uh, by Wednesday to make sure that those um, are there for you guys, okay? Of course, we only have a couple of really, really basic grand rules. Number one, we want you guys to have fun. Um, so at, at the end, we ask you guys to contribute some questions, some comments, or even suggestions. The second thing is that we want you to take notes. Studies show that if you take notes, even if you go back, don't go back to read them, you will retain and remember more of the information. So take notes. Number two, share what you like from the call and share it quickly because, again, you learn not only by doing, but you also learn by teaching and spreading the information. Number three, connect with us on the social media to keep in touch. Um, I'll also give you guys my cell phone number if you don't have it, so you can always shoot me a text um, during the course of the week. Uh, but my cell phone number, take it down, guys, is 443-271-3604. You guys can shoot me a text anytime. I always respond. Um, any, anything that you guys are thinking, okay? And then, of course, we're at Millionaire Manners on all social media, okay? And um, so let's get into it. Um, as customary, guys, um, every call, we have at least one quote of the night. Tonight is one of those special calls where we actually have two quotes. Um, so get ready and uh, try to write it down if you can. And if you don't um, catch it, then I'll repeat it again at the end, okay? So this first quote is a, it's kind of a funny one, okay? But it has to do with the topic of tonight's call, which is positive self-talk, okay? Uh, so the first quote is, you'll never get any outside haters if you don't first conquer the inside hater. I'm going to say that one more time. You'll never get any outside haters if you don't first conquer the inside hater. And who's the inside hater? You guys have probably already guessed it. It's us. Sometimes we're the biggest hater that we have. We hate on ourselves by talking crazy to ourselves, et cetera, okay? And then we have all these other people, right? They're so concerned about haters this, haters that, but they're the main ones sabotaging themselves, okay? And, again, you don't get any outside haters, right, by doing something of significance, again, if you don't first master yourself and master your thoughts, okay? So that's the first quote. You'll never get any outside haters if you don't first conquer the inside haters. Second quote of the night, guys. This is a powerful one, okay? Here it is. Our stories become reality, we will always live up to the story we create. So we might as well make it a good one. I'm going to read it one more time. Our stories, the stories that we create, become reality. We will always live up to those stories that we create. So we might as well make it a good one. So again, guys, think about it. 
So let's get into it, guys, right? So what is self-talk? We always hear that, right? What is self-talk? Um, it's pretty, it's, it's, uh, of course, what they say, right? It's always pretty easy to understand something once you define it. So let's start with a definition, right? Self-talk. Self-talk, simply put, is what you say when you talk to yourself. That's also, that's also the title of a book, one of my absolute favorite books also, okay? But self-talk is what you say when you talk to yourself, okay? Um, it's what you say to yourself that no one can hear. Um, self-talk is also just like food is for the body, right? Food can either nourish us or it can destroy us if we eat nothing but junk food, right? You'll get all sick and um, a lot of diseases come from the food that we eat. So our thoughts, either they can help us or should I say our self-talk is just like food. Either it can help us or we use it in the wrong way, uh, it can destroy us. So you want to think of your thoughts as just like food. And there's junk food and then there's good food. There's good thoughts and then there's junk thoughts too. So I want you guys to keep that in mind. What kind of thoughts are we feeding ourselves, okay? And like I, like I always say during some of our workshops, everyone, unfortunately, is already an expert at negative self-talk, right? Name-calling yourself, disrespecting yourself. Those are the things that we have to stop in order for us to get better and to become the best version of ourselves. We have to eliminate, destroy negative self-talk. Okay, and I want you guys to ask yourself this question, simple question, right? If someone else talked to you the way you talk to you, what would you do about it? Would you consider them a friend or would you want to punch them in the mouth? Would you consider them an enemy or would you consider them a friend? Okay, so I want you guys to think about that. If someone else talked to you the way you talk to you, what would you do about it? So that's what this is all about, guys, right, it's understanding self-talk how to master it, then how to use it to change our personalities, which eventually will change our lives. And you guys have heard me say it before, if you've listened before, right, is that if enough people change themselves positively, then what happens? The world automatically gets better and becomes a better place to live in. Because remember, we can't change anybody else. All we can do is change ourselves. So here it is, guys, right? The first, the, the, the first piece of info are the five levels of self-talk. Write these down, guys. We're going to do the five levels of self-talk. Number one, it's negative acceptance. Negative acceptance, i.e., right, for example, I can't, or if only I could, or I just can't seem to get the hang of X, Y, and Z. It tells us to hesitate. This kind of negative self-talk, right, it causes us to question our own abilities, and accept less of ourselves than what we know we could have done, right? It, uh, it tricks us, right? Negative acceptance, it tricks us into thinking that mediocrity, right, being average, being just okay is okay. Being average is not okay. Now, if that's your best after you've tried as hard as you can, that's something different. But never trick yourself into accepting mediocrity just because you tell yourself that it's okay. So that's level one is negative acceptance. Number two is recognition and the need to change, okay? I need to or I should, right? You know, that's actually not such a bad thing because you're, because you're recognizing that you actually need to do something different, but maybe you're just not sure about it, okay? So remember, recognition is usually started by phrases like I need to or I should, right? You recognize a problem, but you don't create a solution, i.e., right, for example, I need to get more organized. That implies that you're not an organized person, okay? So level two self-talk is unspoken negative talk, right? And this creates guilt, disappointment, um, and really an acceptance, right? This is also part of an acceptance of our own sort of self-imagined um, deficiencies, right, things that we're not good at. So level one is negative acceptance. Level two is recognition and understanding a need to change. Level three of self-talk is the decision to change, okay? So I never or I no longer, when I say that, that recognizes a problem and makes the decision to do something about it in the present tense right now. Okay? Before any change happened, guys, 
you have to make the decision to change. But you need those other levels first. First you have to, you know, you're, you're in a negative place, then you recognize that you're in a negative place, then you make the decision to change, okay? This is the solution. When you start working on a solution, okay? When you would say something like, I never get upset in traffic, or I no longer have problems dealing with people at school or work, et cetera, okay? That's level three. Level four represents the better you. This is the I am phase, right? This is when you paint a fully completed picture of yourself, telling your mind, telling yourself that this is the, the version of myself that I want to create. For example, I am a winner or I have determination, or I am the best this, or I am the best that. That's level four, okay? Level five is, is, a, is the universal, okay? Level five is the universal. That means that's when you sort of become one with your environment and say, you know what, um, everything around me is good. So now you're not just talking about your own life. Now you're speaking about your environment. I am in a good place. My entire family is awesome. Or uh, I'm the best student in this entire school. Or my entire team is the best team. That's, that's when you connect more with a larger picture, okay? But number four is, number three and number four is where we want to focus. That's the decision to change. And then number four, it's you visualizing a better version of yourself, okay? So let's talk about the forms the different forms of self-talk, okay? The first form of self-talk, and there are five of these as well, okay? There's five forms of self-talk, so write these down. Because, again, right now, guys, we're still understanding what is self-talk. I don't want you guys to, you know, to, 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 I don't want to lose you, okay? So we're still, we're still talking about what is self-talk. So we just covered the five levels of self-talk. Now, these are the five forms, right? These are the five forms of self-talk. So number one is silent self-talk, okay? That's self-explanatory. This is silent self-talk. So this is conscious or unconscious internal conversation, right? Research shows that 80%, get this, guys, 80% of the conversations that we have every single day are with ourselves, Right? We're always thinking to ourselves about how we should have handled this or what am I going to do about this or, right? 80% of that is silent self-talk. 80% of our conversations are silent self-talk with just ourselves. So it's super important to understand that, okay? So that's the first form of self-talk is silent self-talk. Number two is self-talk when you talk to others, Okay. So what you say when you're speaking to other people also makes an important part, right, of our overall self tech. That, that's, a, that's a very important part of it um, because what I always like to tell people is that you are the first person that hears the words that you speak out loud. So when you're telling somebody else that they're bad or they're not good or if you ever tell yourself out loud that I'm not bad, I'm not good, that's a double whammy because not only are you saying it out loud, it's also being heard by your own ears. So it's a deep thing. So you want to make sure that for sure you never speak out loudly about yourself negatively. And then the person that you're talking to, what? They hear your negative thoughts too. So now they're thinking negatively about you too. So the second form of self-talk is self-talk when you talk to others, right? So you have to be careful about what you say to other people, about other people, and especially when you're speaking to someone else about you, about yourself. Because remember, even when you're talking to someone else, make sure your words paint the picture you want your own mind to have about you, okay? Remember, we're, we are in control of this. We are painting the picture of what we want it to be. So you have to mind your self-talk when talking to others. The third one, okay, the third form of self-talk is self-conversation. That's talking to yourself out loud, like literally having a conversation just by yourself, only it's out loud. Asking yourself questions, being your own best friend, right? Speaking about a problem that you might be going through, only you would speak about that problem with yourself. 
one of the greatest things that, again that I love sharing with people is the is the is the concept of having a conversation with yourself. And you know what you know, it used to be a joke, right? Back in the day, right? People would say, Oh, it's okay to talk to yourself, just don't answer. That's completely incorrect. You need to answer yourself when you ask yourself questions. Because that's where the change comes in. That's where the that's where the new information is. So you must answer yourself questions. You must answer your own questions and really, really challenge yourself to get better. Okay, so that's the third form of self-talk is self-conversation, okay? That's out loud. The fourth form of self-talk is recorded self-talk, okay? Recorded self-talk. So you can actually record yourself if you have a, uh, an MP3 player or you have an iPod or an iPhone um, or, again, an iPod Touch, you can actually record your own voice saying good things about yourself. I know it sounds crazy, right? But there's many, many people who use these techniques um, who don't have some of the problems that the average person has. So uh, recorded self-talk is the fourth form of self-talk, and it's really, really powerful, okay? It's, uh, it's convenient. Um, so instead of listening to music all the time, just record your voice, um, which leads right in um, to the fifth form, which is written self-talk. So you can actually write out, okay, what you want your life to look like. Then you can go back and potentially record that, so that way you're recording only positive thoughts, okay, and then use that to get better. Um, writing self-talk also increases the awareness of your objectives and your goals and gives you more energy towards making self-talk work for you, okay? So it's a really, really big deal. Um, we have a little bit of time left, guys, so we're actually going to go into the categories. I know this is a lot of information for tonight, man, but hopefully this is, uh, this is making a little bit of sense for you guys. We're going to go into the categories of self-talk next, and then we'll recap everything um, and then give a little bit of a sneak preview uh, for the next call. Um, because the next call, we're going to talk about how exactly to use these, these different forms and um, to use these different types of self-talk. Uh, but we're giving you guys an overview right now, so hopefully this is making sense, okay? Um, so let's talk about it. Categories of self-talk. So, so far, we have the five levels of self-talk. We have the five forms of self-talk. And now we're going to cover the four categories of self-talk, okay? And, again, if you guys have any questions about any of this information, you can shoot me a text or shoot me an email or a tweet or Facebook, Instagram, et cetera, okay? Um, so don't worry about it. Four categories of self-talk. Number one, when you want to change a habit. When you want to change a habit. Self-talk, right, when you want to change a habit, this is the sort of self-talk that refuses to accept the old habit and then creates a new picture of you acting and behaving in a way that puts the old habit behind you, okay? So we're going to talk about that, Right? But the first category is when you want to change a habit, you would use self-talk. Number two, one of my favorites, is attitude building. Self-talk that lays out what you believe about yourself, boosts your self-esteem, boosts your personal responsibility, which is a big word, right? We're going to cover that as a topic on a call in the future, right? How, how to act more responsibly. How to take more responsibility is a big, big deal. And, again, I'm not just talking for, for young people, right, young ladies and young gentlemen. Everybody on this planet can learn to take more responsibility, myself included sometimes. So that's a really, really big one. First category, habit changing. Second category, attitude building. The third category of self-talk is motivational. So when you want to pump yourself up, right, so self-talk for internal motivation and reaching goals. So, again, for example, we used the, uh, the example earlier of, hey, I want to become more organized. So self-talk for being more organized, let's say, right, or self-motivation or believing or being a better student or being a better athlete or a better teammate. You can use self-talk, guys, in a variety of ways. But the first thing is, again, becoming aware of the different pieces of self-talk that you're engaging in with yourself every single day. 
You can even keep a little piece of paper with you and start marking down every single time it's a negative thought versus a positive thought. Uh, because, again, a lot of us have a problem with too much negative thoughts, okay? The fourth category, okay? The fourth category is situational, situational self-talk, okay? So this is uh, self-talk that really will adjust itself to um, a specific situation that you might find yourself in, okay? Um, situational self-talk is, is really the, the kind of self-talk that will be used immediately sort of on the spot um, in a situation, uh, so let's say um, if you have to um, give a presentation, if you have to give a presentation at school and you're, you're feeling a little bit nervous, okay, then you can use self-talk on the spot. Hey, I got it is the example that we use in, um, in our three A's of attitude workshop, right? I got it. I got this. I'm completely calm. Uh, I, I'm the best presenter in this class. Right before that test, right, instead of telling yourself, oh, man, this is too tough. Or, I, I, hey, I'm, I'm going to fail this test. Situational self-talk is like, hey, I got this. I'm going to get an A on this test, right? Um, so many different situations that we encounter every single day um, are perfect uh, for using self-talk. Okay, guys? So those are the four categories. Um, and then next week on the call, and I'm going to go back through everything, okay, including the other uh, two quotes. Um, but next week we're going to get into a self-talk checklist and also, again, some specific things that you can implement in order to use self-talk. But don't wait until next week because I think you guys have more than enough information right now to begin looking at the way you, you use self-talk right now. The other thing that this information tonight will allow you, do, allow you to do is go back with your friends and family and listen to how they speak. Listen to the self-talk they use. Again, do they disrespect themselves in front of others? Do they disrespect themselves to themselves? Okay, so let's recap a little bit, guys, and then we'll take a couple questions, okay? So the first part, right, five levels of self-talk, just in case um, you guys didn't catch them. Five levels of self-talk. Level one is negative acceptance. Level two is recognition and the need to change. Level three is, and this is the powerful one, the decision to change. Number four is, I want a better me. I am creating a better me. Level five, I am one with the universe. I am one with the universe, okay? Second part, okay? Second part for tonight, five forms of self-talk. Number one, silent self-talk, right, and understanding what silent self-talk is. Number two, self-talk when talking to others. Number three, self-conversation, right? That's out loud conversation with just you. You, yourself, and, and you, right? You, yourself, and you. The fourth form of self-talk is recorded self-talk, right? Literally, you can record your own voice and talk yourself into the game, talk yourself into doing more. The fifth form is written self-talk, where you can write out a message to yourself. Anytime you're feeling down, you can just pull that out and read it to yourself, okay? Number, uh, the last part were the four categories of self-talk. That's habit changing, that's attitude building, it's motivational, and it's situational, okay? That's the information that we have for you guys for tonight, guys. And like I said, next week we're going to cover um, how to implement, how to use positive self-talk. But you guys, homework for this week, is to start analyzing your thoughts. When are you using positive self-talk? When are you using negative self-talk, okay? If you guys have any questions or concerns or suggestions, now is the time. Star six to unmute yourself and um, let us know. Star six. Star six to unmute yourself if you have a question, a comment, or a suggestion. I just have a comment to make, Sadiq. Brother Sadiq, this is a tool speaking. Atul, how you doing, brother? I'm good, brother. How are you? I'm doing. I'm doing well, man. I just wanted to make a quick little comment about. Um, it's beautiful the, the information you're providing to our young, young male, young males and females. I just wanted to make a quick comment about um, our diet. You know what I mean? Like a lot of us think that our diet only consists of what we eat, 
But mm. it really consists of all the information we gather from watching TV to the music we listen to to the people we associate with. Any information that we grasp is typically our diet. It makes us who we are. Now, if you pick and choose what, you know, we pick and choose our diet. We don't eat unhealthy stuff all the time. Similarly, it's not a good thing for us to watch TV with negative news all the time, taking in that mm. negative news so it gives us a certain perception. And I just want to make it clear to the youngsters out here that once you start really diving deeper into the self-talk, you'll see you'll be able to pick and choose the information you want, and you'll be able to live that. So I just wanted to give that quick little piece of information, my brother. I told, bro, that is such an excellent point. Um, I didn't, we didn't even get into that tonight in terms of TV uh, or, or music, um, just some of the negative stuff that we pump into ourselves every single day. And, again, Atul and I, guys, uh, we go way, way back, and we're both big, hardcore hip-hop guys. We love hip-hop, Definitely. but you can't listen to it all the time. There has to be balance. You can't, you can't just shoot them up bang, bang all the time, or else that becomes your perception. That becomes your reality after a while because we see so many folks acting out what they hear in music or what they see on TV. Atul, thank you so much for bringing that up. I appreciate you, brother. I appreciate everything you're doing, man. Anybody else, guys, have any uh, questions or comments or suggestions? Yes. Uh, my six. name is Hakeem Jones. I'm from Charlotte. Hakeem, what's going on, Hakeem? Um. Yeah, I just um wanted to say that um I'm the I'm the person who went to the thing, the little thing at, at church on Saturday. I remember you. Yeah, and that really got to me. So I want I just want to say thank you. It's my pleasure. It's my pleasure. Um, I can't wait to see what um you and the other brothers who were there on Saturday do with the information, because like we said, knowledge is in power. Knowledge by itself is. It's just information. It's just looking at a whole bunch of charts and, um, and, and, and numbers. But when you apply the information, that's when your life changes. So I really, really appreciate you, Hakeem. Thank you. Any other questions or comments, guys? Any, uh, any points that you guys need me to go back over? Um, because if not, we want to hold you. We want to you know, keep the call um, short and make sure that you guys get in and get out. All right, guys, make sure you all connect with us. Make sure you all connect with us on Twitter, at Millionaire Manners, Instagram, at Millionaire Manners, Facebook, at Millionaire Manners, um, where you guys can even send me a friend request too, Sadiq A. Ali. Um, for those who are still on Facebook, I know Facebook is kind of kind of becoming old and whatnot, but, you know, some, you know, as old people, we still use Facebook, so um, <laughs> don't, don't feel bad. Don't feel bad. All right, guys. We will talk to everybody next week around this exact same time, 8 to 8.30 every Monday. Share the call with a friend, guys. Share the call with a friend. I'll see you guys next week.